Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Dr. Alessandro. And in this video, we're gonna be discussing something called the triple tray. Now, this is a tray that's used for impression taking. And so we utilize it when we are trying to take impressions for say, crowns and bridges and things along those lines. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate, and I'm actually gonna demonstrate on myself. So we'll be using, again, a material that you may or may not be familiar with. It's the polyvinyl siloxane and blueprint in this case. So we'll be using this material and I'll give you a self demonstration. That way you can better understand what a triple tray impression is like and what you need to do if you're having one. Now for dental students who may or may not be aware of this type of impression, this is a convenient impression. So they may or may not teach this to you in the clinics or they may prefer just your quadrant trays. This is a convenient way of taking an impression, but I will also give you the downsides in a little bit because there are some negatives to it. I'm not going to say that it's all good. Convenience is great, but sometimes it can come at a price or a cost. So that said, hang tight and I'll demonstrate this particular technique for you. Okay, so here we are. I've got my tip loaded on and I'm the patient, guinea pig patient. So we have the triple tray and the material, which is polyvinyl siloxane, kind of a rubberish based material. So what we do is we will go ahead and pipe the material on to both sides, but you don't want to overload it. You want to just make sure you got enough. So that'll work for that side. And then do the same thing for the other side. Now, what can you do with this? You can do an impression for a crown, or you could also have the impression or the registration of the bite or teeth um, also for making a temporary crown. So we'll get to that in a bit, but here we are. This is what it all looks like. And so since I am the test patient, we're gonna try it out. Okay, so as I mentioned to you all, the advantage or the big advantage of the triple tray is that it is extremely convenient. It is a convenient way to take an impression. Um, you know, you just have to have a patient bite down into the triple tray and material on it in a repeatable manner. That is, they have to basically bite down straight as they would normally bite, which is great. The downsides though, so there are a few. Number one, uh, the first downside is that it is potentially a distortion or there can be distortion issues with a triple tray impression. So it is a little bit flimsy, as you can see, um, it is pretty thin. So the flimsiness can lend to a little bit of movement and so distortion can happen in your impressions. So that said, that makes it extremely uh, poor as a choice of a tray or you know impression tray for say your second molars that are the last tooth in an arch because there's usually more distortion towards the end part of the tray and therefore it translates into an impression that might not be great so distortion is a big issue cost uh, depending on the particular company you choose from uh, you know, it can be a little bit more costly depending on what you, what you select, what you use. So that's another factor that you have to keep in mind. Um, it may not be the cheapest thing in the world and you may not get the best impression in the world. So uh, that said, those are the downsides uh, to a triple tray impression. All right, thank you so much for joining me on this video for the triple tray. So as you can see, this is the registration that you get. There's a little bit of a pull there, but that happens with this material. And uh, again, it is very, very convenient and helpful, but as I explained, there are some downsides to it. So um, of course, please make sure that, you know, when you're taking this kind of impression, you want to make sure that you're using this type of tray correctly. That is um, in certain circumstances, like doing a single unit crown that is not the last tooth in the arch. Uh, so that's a very important one. And if you're doing a bridge or anything a little bit more fancy, yeah, sure, you can use this, 
but you're probably better off using a quadrant tray or something that's more firm and definitive. So that said, thank you very much for joining me on this video demonstrating the use of the triple tray and explaining it. And again, thank you for all your support and I hope you're all staying well and healthy.